All right, so the maintenance has concluded, and as expected, we have the World Heroes Mission units coming on the 25th of February, 3 p.m. JP Standard Time. I should be live maybe a little bit late because I actually have my COVID booster shot at like 2 p.m., so it's a little bit awkward, but I'll still be live regardless, uh, at least maybe like an hour late. But as you can see, you can pull the Todoroki, the Bakugo, and the Deku. Ba Bakugo is good for PvP. Todoroki is good for everywhere. Deku is mid everywhere. Got the UR memory as well, which uh, is for male unit, which will increase speed as well as power. Also, I'd like to mention that I've already done showcases for each of the three units. So I'll leave a link in the description to the showcases when I did it on JP. Keep in mind, this was four months ago, so my opinions may change. But you should be able to see the damage and everything like that from them if you are curious. I believe there's also some more information on some items. It's called the Unlocking Orbs, which will be used to unlock the entire ability board. I don't know what that even means. We'll read through this as well. Available at the UA Metal Gear Shop. So, miss so maybe this is something that you want to purchase other than like the UR Memories. What are unlocking orbs? Unlocking orbs are items to unlock the entire basic route of the character's ability board. SR unlocking orb alpha, an item that can be used on SR characters, or is it A alpha, is an item that unlocks pages 1 to 4 up to the ninth space of the 4th page of the basic route of the ability board of an SR. If the 5th or later page of the ability board basic route for the character is already unlocked, you cannot use this orb. Okay, then we got the beta. Okay, it's alpha beta. So, sick. So this will unlock from pages 5 to 9. So this looks like a really OP item. This is actually so useful for those... Like, everybody's complaining about items and... Oh, man, it's taking so long. But now we have something for SRs at the very least. Uh, then we have character name, which can be used only for a specific character. It doesn't look like it's blocked from rarity, which is good. Maybe you can use these for the URs. Same thing, alphas to the 1 and 4th, and then betas to the 5th uh, ninth. Uh, how to use unlocking, go to characters, the bottom of the home menu, tap on the level up on the character menu, tap on the character ability board, select the character of the ability board you want to unlock from the character list screen, select basic route from the change route, uh, addition of unlocking orbs to the UA Metal Gear Shop, unlocking orbs, a new level up item are now available in the UA Metal Gear Shop, these newly added items are useful for leveling up characters, new items, uh, and number of UA medals needed. So there's a Bakugo orb one. So for uh, items that... Oh, so there's only ones for certain like actual characters, not like character name. Okay. So this will be only for the Bakugo SR that is purchasable from the UA store. And you can actually just max them out uh, outright, which is actually insane. This one's for the... Uh, yeah, so these are all for the UA units. Pretty much. Okay. Cool to know, cool to know. So that is what that is. And then for the maintenance, we got 50 gems, which is somewhat kind. Let's see if they gave us anything else for free. Got the SNS. So we got SR unlocking or B and A. We got one of each. We got to use one. I'm definitely going to use one, see what it's like. I wonder if you do not have... Oh, 100,000. God, I really needed that. So I'm just saving all the metals so I can't claim all. Let's check the gear shop really quickly. Let me just purchase this. This is actually done. I wonder if it actually costs gold as well. So you got the Bakugo ones, which you only, I guess, need one of them, right? To instantly unlock panels one through four of the... You cannot use this item. I, I wonder if you have to buy, like, multiple and then, like, for one... is If it's, like, all one to four or one or just one of the pages. We'll have to find out. But, yeah, um... It looks like that is it for the UA store update. So let's test this item here with an SR that I want to upgrade. For example, I wouldn't mind upgrading the present mic here. I haven't showcased them, so. And you use orb to instantly unlock panels one through four of their ability board. Although this is not worth it for me specifically, it's whatever, we'll use it. Because I already have the materials. Oh, so you didn't even... Wait. Did I even use my medals? Because I had medals for him. 
And it didn't look like I needed to use gold. Because I had... How much did I... Oh, I instantly gave you the thing as well. Where's my gold count? Yeah, it didn't use any of my gold. Oh, that's good then. That's good. I like that. Hopefully they release some for you guys. Because right now there's only SR ones. But this is really nice for me and for people that, like, have been shafted or whatnot. So, uh, let's double check on the, um, the whole UI's changed. Oh, it doesn't even use the shards as well. That's a, also a big dub too. So, you, it's less things I need to buy. That's actually really cool. I will showcase this present mic in the future. Don't worry. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it for all the news. That's pretty interesting. We have World Heroes Missions units. It didn't say anything about the story event though. It just looks like only a summons. And then also there should be a new banner coming out soon after this banner. They're actually releasing a lot of banners as of recently. Um, which will probably correspond with a new event. I don't know if they're going to release the Endeavor event. Because with... On JP, when they released the World Heroes mission units, they also released Endeavor, SR Endeavor, as an event, so that you get a free SR Endeavor. But there's no announcement for that. It just looks like to be a recruit banner. So we have to wait a few more days for some more cool materials and stuff like that for the event. Because uh, the next event is going to be a lottery ticket event, which is actually really good if you're, you know, looking for gold, if you're looking for training items and memory items because that those three things i'm kind of lacking and uh those the lottery event is going to help out a lot so all right so air dogon has got the data mine of what the next banner is as well which it looks to be finally the uh, provisional license combat training which will feature man i forgot the guy's name already it's been so long he's been in the files for hella long as well and the uh, todoroki in that scenario so that's going to be actually super exciting uh, it is another new Todoroki. I don't know who's going to be... I, I reckon Todoroki's going to be the UR. Um, but if it was this guy that's the UR, then that's going to be super awesome. Uh, if And then Todoroki SR. Because we have a lot of UR Todorokis. And it would be... Um, it, you know, you got to give some new characters some shine. So yeah, this is what all Air Dokkan actually data mined. Or has posted at the very least. I don't know if he's got, like, the animation... Like the plus ultra animation of the new UR. So until we get that, we won't know until who's the actual UR from this banner. I'll keep you guys up to date when we get information on the next upcoming event, upcoming banner, all that good stuff for My Hero Ultra Impact. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, check out my social medias linked in the description. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay fizzy. Peace out.